Hi, this is a Creality Ender 5 Pro, and in this video, I just wanted to run through five upgrades that I've made to this machine, which are 3D printed. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. So first up is the strain relief on top of the printhead. So after trying a few different uh, designs, which uh, I found in Thingiverse, uh, I settled on this one and I like this one particularly because it obviously supports the uh, feed tube and the electrics and it's also able to secure it to the printhead itself. Some of the other ones were just kind of clipping onto the rollers at the back and there was just a bit too much flex. So this thing um, that you can cable tie in uh, keeps things nice and solid and hopefully uh, will stop any pressure being put on these points here. Next up is this one here, and this is a strain relief uh, for the cables which go into the heated bed. Now, I think this is actually uh, a really critical upgrade to do because as the bed is going up and down, it is putting a lot of flex onto this cable and uh, out the box, uh, this thing is kind of hanging and the weight is being taken by the solder joints. So this little arm, which again, you can fix into the a uh, hole that's already in the print bed really I think makes a big difference and hopefully over time uh, will stop any problems developing here because there's obviously a fair bit of power going into this as well so you wouldn't want to have any uh, fire risks or anything like that if uh, these uh, connections were to fail. So this 3D printed tool holder I think is a great accessory uh, for the printer. So basically it takes all of the tools that come with the printer and lets you store it uh, conveniently on the side so that you can just grab them whenever you need to do any sort of maintenance on the printer. So this is another 3D printed accessory which I think is a bit of a must on this printer and these are the bed supports which go on either side here. Now these uh, are basically designed to improve the rigidity of the print bed particularly on the end here because the print bed is only supported um, at the back, um, unlike its bigger brother, the Ender 5 Plus, which kind of has two, so it's supported on both sides. So I think by adding this, this will obviously make this a lot more rigid and it will stop the bed kind of flexing, um, particularly when you're doing larger prints or you're printing kind of closer to this side of the print bed. So I printed these in PETG uh, because a few people have reported that these will crack when you try and attach them onto PLA and I, I did these uh, with about 50% infill uh, in PETG and they went straight on and as you can see they just attach here um, onto the back with four I think these were M320 bolts with some uh, nylon locking nuts just to make sure it kind of stays on there and obviously after these were installed I just had to make sure that uh, these things weren't pushed up too high because if you push them too much in this direction, it will cause the bed to kind of point upwards too much. And then you have a problem when you're trying to uh, level the bed with the print head. But yeah, I, this is a great addition and uh, hopefully will improve the uh, prints. So last but not least, we have this handy little enclosure, which goes around the uh, control panel and screen for the printer. So as you can see here, it's got uh, some built-in drawers uh, for storing all of your knickknacks and things like that that you might need. And if we come around the back here, it also has space for a Raspberry Pi. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4 that I've installed in here. You can also print this for the Raspberry Pi 3. And this is going to be for a future project when I'm going to set up the printer to work with OctoPrint. So I don't have to keep uh, printing using the SD card. But yeah, so that's pretty much it really. Those are my five upgrades I've done with the printer. I'll put the links into the description for all of those. And yeah, I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.